For years, many living here at the Serenity Towers have demanded much needed improvements. That goes for one man we spoke with off camera who has called this taxpayer funded high rise home over the last six years. I talked to a, a two and a half, three years ago. To no avail, he says. A lack of hot water, toilets backing up, and elevators not working were just some of the issues. I don't just like to keep repeating myself over and over and over and over, and nothing is really being uh, uh, manifested. However, the majority of those units are now operational, as well as the list of other issues having been corrected. Judge Patrick Dandridge was told Thursday in environmental court. Making sure that everything that, the, that needs to be done to bring the building in compliance with code has been done. Gotcha. And so we're just trying to make sure all that's finished. The lawyer representing Serenity Towers telling the court things are still moving in the right direction. We think we've done everything that needs to be done or close to it to make everybody happy. Hearing this is welcome news for many living here. Sadly, there are a few options for housing that's both affordable as well as obtainable. So for many, the court's decision really is their last resort. As for what's next. Or the judge just wants the city to do a complete sweep of all the units. And we're not sure they're going to actually, the city is going to be able to do that between now and then. We're hopeful. Okay. We'd like to wrap this up. A shared sentiment by all. Reporting in downtown Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3.